What's up guys, it's your favorite twins and today we are revisiting Beyonce's iconic album, B-Day. You know, because we are trying to get back into revisiting. Yes, back I to mean, our roots. Back to our roots, that's what we did when we started the channel, so I'm really excited to get into V-Day though. You know, we've started her discography, kind of started all over the place, but there are so many albums we still want to get to. Yes. And what better album to continue with than V-Day? There's always a lot of debate, a lot of discourse, a lot of chitter chatter about which album is Beyonce's best. best. Um, what I can say about V-Day is that it holds a lot of her hits. Yes! A lot of her yes. signature songs, most memorable songs. Yes! To me, they're such nostalgic hits because this was a time where we didn't care about the charts, we didn't care about anything. If we liked the song, we liked it. We were hyped to see the visuals yeah. and everything, so... Uh, this album holds a very special place. We were, we were six. 2006. <laughs> so, like, yeah. I don't even know what, so, what do we know? know about that. I've said this for a while, but I kind of consider this Beyonce's first sort of visual album. Explain. Just about every song on this album has a visual. Now, one thing I will never forgive her for is that uh, one minute kitty cat video. I know it's in the vault somewhere. I know Gotta it is. Be. I Gotta know be. it is. The only feature on here is Jay-Z. <laughs> Rightfully but so. it truly is a masterpiece. It is. Also, it was released a little bit before her birthday, but in order to yeah. coincide with it. So that's really cool too. We all know four is Beyonce's favorite number. Yeah. Birthday is September 4th. This was released August 31st. <laughs> Um, so like I said, but it was it was in time. It, 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 was, it was, in time. was in time. We've been fans of Beyonce for a long time. Who so. hasn't? Okay. That's Who hasn't? True. Even when you were an Wait. adolescent, you were you know? a fan. You just weren't mature enough to know it yet. B day, birthday, Beyonce day. I don't know. That's just what I think she was trying to do. Oh, like what is the title? Ain't that she trying to do? Well, like, Beyonce oh day? yeah, it could be okay. All right. Before we get started, of course you know we have to shout out our Patreon. There you can find full length reactions, exclusive content, Beyonce included. So if you're into that sort of thing, we'd love to have you. Bass. Oh, um, what a way to start an album, right? Hi. Uh. Eight oh eight. Come on. I used to run bass like Juan Pierre. Now I'm in the bass hi hat in the snare. Now back B. Oh, you hurt me. Brooklyn Bay, where they birthed me at. Me and B, she about to sting and stand back. Yeah, I think you do. You know what I noticed though? This album is very like R&B soul pop heavy. Like I don't know, it sounds a bit like a different Beyonce, just a little bit. Like in the beginning, her roots. Yeah. But I love it. She was big on horns. Come on. 
One of her greatest openers. What I, one of her greatest honestly, openers. Honestly, and it's an opener that doesn't get appreciated <sighs> enough. One of her greatest songs in general. I, I used to play Deja Vu a lot when we first discovered Beyonce. Yeah. There's just the energy that Deja Vu carries. There is, yeah. Especially with that, like, bridge. Always think about that video. <laughs> She's going... <laughs> Crazy Park. in the middle of that, yeah. what is like a desert? I love it. I love it. It's and, and her voice, she sounds so young. That's what's so crazy. Yeah, like, just, like reading what she's had to say about Rodney Jenkins and the fact that, like, she yeah. added live instruments. I think that's what I was trying to say. Like, yeah. the RB soul pop vibe is so heavy on this album, but it's because yes. of the live instruments that makes it feel so much more raw and authentic and original. And yeah. you feel it more. I always say, like, when you go to a concert, a song just hits that much harder when there's a band. Yes. Because music is a language, man, and we all understand it. It's universal. Yeah. So you just, I don't know, there's just something so real. When you hear those horns, it's yeah. like, no, like, you can tell that's not a that's not a track, that's nothing, that's no added, it's yeah. it's legit, they were there, and, and, and again, like you said, it just, yeah. it makes it feel that much more full. So, oh, sure. absolutely love it. Again, Jay's verse, I think it's one of Jay's most iconic verses. Same, same. Um, one of my favorite Everybody on the song knows that. Hoes flow so unusual, usual, like everybody baby, knows girl. that. Already know. A great collaboration between the two, a great way to open the album. I mean, let's be honest, this album just, it keeps you at a high the whole for way through. the entire time. And then resentment is just like, well, now I'm angry. So I'm it's like, I, I, but then she tells it. you to come check on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love the fact that the album starts with her and Jay. I just think that's very, uh, Telling. Special. Yeah. Telling is what I was actually going to say, but special yeah. because uh, just where they were in their relationship, I guess. But yeah, the meaning is pretty straightforward. Uh, everything I see is you. you Got to be having deja vu. That's pretty, if you know what deja vu is, it all just makes sense. She obsessed That's not saying like the songs aren't hard to dissect. It's all about the vibe. Yeah, it's, it's just all about, about having a good time. Yeah. So yeah, love it. Nine. Four. I always remember the bee costume, like Eight, the robot. Yeah. B day. Um, dude, this is the leg. Touch, touch your heel, touch your toes. toes. This is the only Campbell. What? That's what so I was waiting like, for. She said, snap for that. Uh, snap, snap for, for that. Kid. I love how interactive the song is. Like, if you've ever been to a party and this song comes on and everybody knows it, <laughs> that's it's just, yeah. you know the lyrics word for word. Like, I guess that's what you can say about this album. It, it feels like a celebration. It feels yes. like a big party. Yeah. Same thing with Deja Vu. I just, I don't know. Get Me Body has always been, I think, one of B's most memorable songs. I think it's so well put together. I actually didn't know Swizz Beats produced that. No, I didn't but know that either. I respect him so much as a producer, man. He has so many hits under his belt, so it just he makes sense. Really and does. you can hear his voice though. Hey. 
Hey, oh, hey. oh my that god! If that is him, okay, it actually that, sounds like him. That makes a lot of sense. The thing I love about Beat It is just again that feeling of nostalgia and like, especially with Get Me Body. I think, and you can see it on Beyonce's face. Yeah, Anytime she can. performs that song, it's so much fun because again, like you said, it's so interactive. So. It is. I'm not used to it being that short, even though that's the original. Yeah, I know. Version. I'm like, huh? But like, it? nonetheless, it's still such a hit. Damn, that was so good. I want to buy him a short set. He is so gritty and just like, I it the feels like in Houston. My head. cool again as soon as it started Such a vibe. all I can think about is the video I remember little old me thought it was so naughty <laughs> but badass as she was smoking that little cigar yeah kind of had that like more masculine that boss approach, energy that bo boss energy but it's so funny looking at the lyrics like really looking at it just said take my credit card my credit cards like she really just paying to keep him happy because it's that good she said, it's that good. Let me take care of you. Let me. Let me be sugar mama. You. you know, Beyonce must have been the first sugar mama. I, 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 we're going to get for that. She was the first sugar mama. Okay. I don't know for who, but she was. Okay. And this song inspired generations to come. I loved her vocals on this, though. When she started going off at the end, I just feel like it showed a different layer. Yes. To what she's vocally capable of. So this funk vibe, I think, was fresh. Yes, so yeah, I'm in, And knowing what we're about to get into with Upgrade You, I like how she's playing with genres. Yeah. Really unique music. Yeah. Really unique. And again, and that live instrumentation is just um, it's just making this yeah, album it even album better so good and really. i don't think she's put out a song like sugar mama not that i can not recall. like that like sugar mama is a very unique song one of her discography kind. yeah <laughs> yeah me talk your shit how you gonna break me side and number one now I bees the block. Let me upgrade. <laughs> I hear you be the block, but I'm the life to keep the streets on. I'm known to walk alone, but I'm alone for a reason. Sending me a drink ain't appeasing. Believe me, come harder. This won't be easy. Trust me, you need me. This ain't a shoulder with a chip or an ego. What you think they all mad at me for? Whoa! Me to think about Sugar Mama and to upgrade you. I'm upgrading Ooh. you. Come on, sequencing. Ooh. I'm upgrading you. I like that. I'm gonna help you build a feeling kind. Take my card. I 
Bobby's a D-boy who infiltrated all the corporate dudes They call shots, I call audibles It's big ballin', baby, when I'm calling you I'm talking spy bags and five packs and rules at the Bloomberg Cause that rock on your fingers like a tumor You can't fit your hand in your new purse It's humorous to me, they watching and we just got an Alan Mafioso, oh baby, you ever seen satin? You sure to see stars? I love that! I level my best suit, mama let me upgrade ya just when you think you had it all Bitch, I got a fella, baby, with me Make you my project celebrity I keep it in that little tree It makes the diamond really shine Then your dynasty ain't complete without a cheap blind me Uh oh, uh oh. We're in the hip hop section right yeah, now. Yeah, this, this, this is a little bit of that, that yeah, hip hop. Yeah, we got that string of influence. That is one of my favorite collaborations between the two. It's up there with Deja Vu. It's up there with Deja Vu. Yeah. It is. I love this mid 2000s vibe. If, if you know, you know. The whistles, the, the snaps, yes. Yes. the haze, the ad libs. It's taking me back. Like you said, it's yeah, really nostalgic. It nostalgic. brings you back. But I love this idea of upgrade you. I feel like they're talking to each other. They are, yes. They are genuinely talking, talking to each other because either way it goes, they're upgrading each other. If y'all yeah. know their net worth combined, <laughs> woo! When I tell you that's the conversation of who's paying the bill, <laughs> they do it for fun. They say, Shamont. Imagine, imagine, this your month? This your month? Who paid it last month? <laughs> right, like, <laughs> I think Outrage was one of Beyonce's most uh, iconic videos as well. Oh, yeah. Just oh, because yeah. when her and Jay kind of, you know, had the same outfit and kind of yeah. merged, and I think about that ponytail laying with the, the gold yeah, and everything. The, yeah, it's yeah, just, the fur. Again, like, it's, that hip hop influence was crazy, yeah. and so. And Swiss Beats is again. Behind it. Shout out to Cam as well because that that beat is. This yeah. kind of reminds me of like the beginnings of Mood Forever. Yeah, like, things like that. Shit. But yeah, I really can't get over that Sugar Mama into Upgrade You moment because I didn't even realize till just now how they mirror each other. And yeah. even thinking about the video, how she's in that boss position too. So they did their big one with that one. Yeah, they did. And that was just a promo single. Oh, now this one. Yeah. This make you bust some windows. Yeah. Upgrade you, partner. Let me upgrade you, partner. Ring the alarm. She's calling him the same thing. Right? No, and no, it makes and, me and, wonder. no. And I want to talk I, when the song is done. Me I want to talk about the meaning of this song and how it kind of it flows. Makes me wonder. And, and the, okay, we go. Ooh, talk about it's it. a kitty cat. Ooh, this whole. Uh, hold on, let me. Kitty cat, freakum. Dra we gonna get into it because wait. Oh wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. That is, I'm Why am I sequencing? seeing sequencing? That's actually some good sequencing. Why am I seeing a storyline? You're about to get me excited. You're about to get me excited. Cause you ain't never seen. Go. Oh, oh, the Yeah. Now, yeah, let, now yeah, I want to say yeah, this. Yeah, I want to yeah, 
gotta say this. I wanna say this. From Sugar Mama. She's talking about, you know, investing and kind of using big monies yes. to keep her lover. So then for Upgrade You, because mm -hmm. there's a lyric in Upgrade You where she says, if your hustle meets my hustle. Right. So I'm assuming the guy that she was spending the money for has now kind of upgraded himself with the help of her. Yes. So now they can upgrade each other. Mm -hmm. Now, with Ring the Alarm, it's not a song about, oh, I'm scared to lose you because you're my lover. Right. I'm scared to lose you because I built you, nigga. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm thinking. That's okay. the storyline I'm seeing. Yeah. I'm seeing that Beyonce is Beyonce. Like you said, she done upgraded this dude. Yeah. And he's cheating. And you got this bitch. In the house I bought and paid for. In the house for. I bought. She is living a life that I built. And I'm, I'll am i be damned. I'll be damned. Like, if she wearing a chinchilla coat. She gonna love this. I know. Yeah, a storyline aside, because this album is, look, I'm, I'm starting to see this album in a new light. Sonically, I love that song. Yeah. Like, I, I, there's something so different and unique about it. The, the siren in the back. Just the hip hop influence. Oh, who produced that one? Sean, Sean Garrett. Sean Garrett. Sean Garrett. Okay, another legend. Another legend. And, and Swiss. Swiss. I know, yeah, I knew I was going to say Swiss. I knew it. I know she was mad going to that studio because I don't know how you come out with that chorus, that hook. Yeah. Bringing your law. I'm a dude. I don't know and how. And the damned. Yeah. I'll be damned. It, like yeah. you felt that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my hex. You know I hate sleeping alone. But you said that you will soon be home. I'm not feeling on top of you. You're not calling me back. It's all of that. One of my favorite songs. I think it's one of Beyonce's most underrated songs. Mm -hmm. Vocally, the song is very good if you pay attention to oh, like oh, the ad libs in the back, the technique, technique, the runs, the harmonies. But lyrically, it's also just it's so playful. Yeah, that's it is. why you know. Although I be dragging the shit out of that one minute video, it is really playful. No, I'm agreeing with you. I'm only I'm getting invested in this storyline because I'm like, okay. Kitty Cat is about how this man is not really paying her any attention, not appreciating what he has. Right. And so she's basically having the self-respect and saying, let's go, little Kitty Cat. He don't want you anymore, and we're not going to stay when we're not, you know, being appreciated. Kitty Cat going into Freakum Dress, I, I got this this thing rolling in my head, but I, I really do love that song. And oh, I love how I, it's expanded. Uh, mm, see, I knew it. It's the reason why I went to Freakum Dress. Because once again, he's out doing wrong. Yep. been locked up in the house way, way too long. long when it comes to ring the alarm and kitty cat it's like you had me waiting in this house for way too long right and now i'm going out that's exactly. what I'm saying kitty cat let's go exactly love it because once again he's out doing wrong but he won't be the only one Get up tonight. Get him up tight. 
and now and then you got to go in the back of that closet and pull out that freakle dress. Just give it a little bit of the vibe, man. And see, I'm going to speak on Greenlight. I'm going to speak on oh, Greenlight and how that plays so into crazy, it. That's so crazy how all these years later, they play it together. we're finding this sequencing. Let me say this, and Jordan can attest. Uh-oh. First of all, when I was young, I didn't know what the, what the fuck was a freaking dress. I, it was freaking. But now, now I get it. That is probably in my top ten of Beyonce songs. I yeah. used to play that so much. I love the video. I thought it was so creative because she was like the different color dresses when she Man. was switching. And how you look great in every single every one. Every single just, one. Oh. So... Freakum Dress is one of my favorite videos. It's one of my favorites. I mean, like... I just love this idea of Freakum Dress. Freak them out. Make them a little, like, you know. But even, like, the, the flip of it, like, fuck them dress, maybe? You put it on to show your man what he's missing. Right. What he's not appreciating. And more importantly, what he could lose. And you go out in this dress to show him that, hey, I am still desired and still desirable. Absolutely. So you ain't going to appreciate it. Someone else will. Exactly. Love the runs again. I was going to say, I think this album is lyrically perfect. Like, I, there's not one verse where I'm like, oh, I would have changed that. Yeah, no. All of the hooks hit, right? All of the beats hit. Like, this is just through and through a party album. You could play it. Exactly. And there hasn't been one dip. There isn't. No, there isn't a dip. You know, and it, I don't know. It's just great music that you can sing along to and relate yeah. to. I would understand why people would hail this as her best. Yeah. And I could see why. But I think I've said this before. I kind of split Beyonce's career into two halves. Yes. Because she's been in the game for so long yeah. that she has matured musically. Yeah. This is like a thriller moment for Beyonce. This is yes. probably Beyonce's thriller. thriller. Yes. Where every single song is a hit. Yeah. Give it to mama. Give it, give There's a little walk. This give beat is crazy. Mama. For some strange reason, uh. you're done pleasing me like it's okay. okay. I've come to feel it too close. It's not the burn. No result is not okay. Now it's all coming so close to me now. You're not looking if I had no view. I can't do my sock just went up over to me. performance of that song. I love how the band, what is it, the, the mamas get involved and yeah. they start dancing with her from the video too. I That video, every time I hear that song, all I can picture is Beyonce in the dark hair. Yes. With the ballerina shoes. The oh yeah. Heels, yeah, yeah. Line. Yeah. Always picture that. And then her little, her little two-step walk, you Girl, know, with the little bun. The girls were out. But yeah, no, I've always loved Greenlight. If you're looking at this storyline we're following, right? It went from her saying she'll go to you can go. It seems like she's yeah. taken back that power and said, wait, hold on, this is my shit. This is my show. This, this is my shit. You can go. Yeah. You got the green light. And then when you think about yeah. the next song, to the left, to the left, she's now back in this position where she's saying, you think you're irreplaceable, but you're replaceable. She's not pleading anymore. Yeah. This ain't ring the alarm no more. This ain't, I'm not even putting up a fight no more. Exactly. You can go. Exactly. So I love that. And then you think about how we get into resentment. Exactly. We'll talk about it, but just, I don't know, I, I've loved this little storyline wow, we figured out. this is so cool. But I, didn't just, I didn't expect that. Like I said, Greenlight as an instrumental, those live oh, instruments. Oh, the instrumental produced by the Neptunes. <laughs> Every song was either a single or promotional single, things like that. That's what makes this album so special, because as you're listening to it, you can visualize everything Beyonce visualized. Class. 
Could you visualize this? She said, and keep talking that mess, but just keep moving. Just keep moving you, you while got, you do so. You got so. three boxes left. You, you keep trying to stop and talk. Put it in the U-Haul and, and That's go right. Home. To ring the alarm. Mm. Yeah. Cooped up in the back of the road. Yeah. Hurry up before you take me. I'll never ever find a man like you. Got me to stay. You must not know about me. But I'm like, he'll be here in a minute. You're irreplaceable. So fix the natural. This album You holds, can see why that was her longest reign number one. This album holds irreplaceable. Enough said. This is one of Beyonce's biggest recognizable songs. I used to think it was called To the Left, To the Left, and I grew <laughs> up and I learned what the word irreplaceable <laughs> means. This song is iconic. The video is iconic. I had no idea that it was originally written by Neo from a male perspective. I'm so glad Beyonce got her hands on it. I don't think anybody oh, else could have done yeah, it like her. Yeah, that wasn't this, Neo's song. <laughs> this is Beyonce's song. Yeah. She is back in this position where she realizes who she is. Yes. And she stays there. And yes. I love how we kind of end the album there. Imagine the peak of the album being toward the end of the album. That means the album right. only gets better. And the first time we slow down like that, it's irreplaceable. It's irreplaceable. So, yeah. I, I don't know. This song this song is amazing. Vocally, it's amazing. The chorus, it, it, stay, it sticks in your head. I mean... Everybody knows this one. This is what you call a timeless song. 519 million streams. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna 
What a way to take out the album. Yeah, man, I have always loved Resentment. Um, yeah. It's just such a real song. When people do things to you, and it hurts, you try to move on. You try to forgive. You try to forget. You try to rationalize. But some things just cut a little too deep. Yeah. And it just leaves you full of resentment. And you never look at that person the same. You never look at situations the same. It takes a very strong person to move past things that happen in life. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, there have been countless moments where I've truly identified with this song. You know, whether it's cheating or just simply betrayal. Yeah, um, a lot of this is betrayal. Yeah, you can hear the emotion in this song and in her voice. You can hear how real and raw it is and how much she is identifying with it. I like it at the end because lyrically, it feels like it is recapping the entire album. Yeah. Looking back, B-Day feels like an album that has documented the entire course of a relationship from the beginning to end. Deja Vu is like when they met. Yes. Get Me Bodied is like that night, that kind of like with a spark you know, fly. You that person, yeah. Sugar Mama is where you start to commit. And yeah. then as we've explained from Upgrade You and Beyond, you get it. to the end and you're full of resentment for everything that you went through. With yeah. This person. yeah. Yeah. And it's so crazy because I've never I don't really play resentment a lot like that, just because it is such an emotionally, you know, heavy song. Mm -hmm. But I do appreciate it, especially on this album. Mm -hmm. When we sat down, I was like, oh like I wonder how much breaking down we're gonna do. I don't really know if B-Day requires all of that. I and then so. to figure it out by around upgrade you, ring the alarm, mm -hmm. it was like, oh my God, there's a real story here. Not all the time do you get that on albums, especially like oh. back then, I feel like kind of now, artists are a little bit more self-aware of sequencing, yeah. but back then it was hit after hit after hit after hit. Yeah. But when you can have an album, even if this wasn't intentional, that's hit after hit, but yeah. it's an actual story, which now looking at it, I don't see how it can't be intentional. I think it is. Beyonce is um, very calculated. Very calculated, very detailed. Creative, woman. yeah. Um, like I said in the beginning before we press play, yeah. it's a masterpiece. It, it, it really is a blueprint for albums. It, it's, yeah. it's what I feel like people want to mold their album after in the sense of how it makes you feel yeah. and how timeless it truly is. So that was such a fun yeah. listen. It was a fun listen. Yes, she ended the album in a strong place. Yeah. But then I love how there's that moment where after you've been outside and you've been strong and you've put on that face, you do have that moment to yourself where you're like, damn though, that really hurt. All in all, all, in all, this is a 10 out of 10 album. There is not one skip. Not one. You know what's a good yes. album when you can't pick your favorites. Yeah, you know. So this was fun. I can't know. wait to dive more into Beyonce's discography. I am Sasha Fierce next. I'm petitioning. Yeah, it's about that time. I think it's time. It's about that time. Of course, we would love to know how you guys feel about this timeless album. Let us know your top five down below in the comments. If you enjoyed watching us react, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. That way you know when we upload. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.